I think we ought to react this way. I think we ought to live this way. More and more, it's, I think it's going to be difficult for us to have any kind of routine, let's say, any kind of schedule. <clears throat> Scheduled soul winning time. Well, if they know you're going to come there every time, then they're going to nab you for it, right? Let's, let's think of a time when it's banned. Okay, scheduled church time. If they know that there's a time where they're going to meet, they're going to, they're going to nab us for it, right? Who knows what the future holds? We need to be in the way, following Christ in his will, and allow for him to lead us. Times are tough. They call them unprecedented. That was a word I wanted. Unprecedented times. The situation is fluid. And you know what the reality is, is, is though the world sees this as unprecedented, our precedent didn't change. Our command didn't change. And here we are in Genesis 24, way back in history, a real event that happened through a servant serving his master who is of God. We see a situation that gives us revelation of what to do today. The command is no different. The, the, the line of reasoning, the instructions, the, the way is not different. It has not changed. And as a church, we need to get back to the basics of Genesis 25. We need to get back to the basics of Genesis 25. 24 is actually what we read here. A Christ-led life, being in the way, which is Christ, Christ leads you. That's what we need more of, and that's what we need to start doing in our lives. Follow these examples and these steps. Be a servant, okay? Be prepared, be resourceful. Have everything that you need available to get the job done. Be prayerful. We got to do that in the morning when we get up. Pray to God and say, God, lead me. God, show me. God, direct me. God, guide me. And then watch. Pray specifically like this servant did. Specifically, God, I want you to lead me to one man that wants to hear the gospel. Lord, even have him ask me, what must I do to be saved? God, that's what I want today. That's what I want to see today. And then watch for it. Wait for it. Be prepared. Have everything ready. Have that tract ready for him. Have it like accumulated sweaty and the ink's all fall off because you're just you got it in your pocket and you're just ready to fling it out as soon as God answers that prayer and puts him in front of you be watchful be wondering when it happens that person comes to you and you're ready you're ready is this the man is this the guy you give him the gospel track you start preaching unto him and then worship and praise God for all that he has done in answering that prayer receive the blessing we're willing to give that blessing back out to people and testify testimony that's going to encourage yourself to tell the story. You know, I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love, right? Tell it again, tell it again, tell it again, tell that story again. Let everybody that's a believer know your story. Show unbelievers your story about how God's working miracles, and they'll be like, you're nuts, but just tell it to them anyways. Testify of these things. It may be that one might hear and fear God as a result of what God has done in your life and say that wonderful statement, this thing proceedeth from the Lord. What must I do to be saved? Maybe hearing the testimony of you getting somebody saved will cause somebody else to be, I want that too, right? And they might receive prosperity. This is what God wants to do. He wants to prosper you. God doesn't want you to just fail. He doesn't want you to fall and falter, get discouraged. He wants you to prosper, but he has an order of things. He has a way, and it's the way. This is what God wants you to do. Influence then, to lead. Influence to, to affect others, to encourage others, to strengthen others towards all that's happened here. Faithfulness. Be faithful. Be found faithful. And that's required in stewards. You need to be continuing steadfast in these things, always abounding in the work of the Lord, and that reciprocates the whole thing. Wake up again, be found faithful in the same direction, in the same way, and go through it again. Serving God, watchfulness, prayerfulness, all that. Do it all over again, all over again. And that's a faithful heart. We need to be led of Christ. Being in the way the Lord led me. I want that more in my life. Being in the way. Already doing what God wants. Best I know, I think God wants me to go that way. I don't know why, but that's where God wants me. I've already prayed for what's going to happen. And you know what? I start marching left. And if God really wanted me to go right, you know what he's going to do? Being in the way, he'll lead me. He'll somehow bring me around to where I needed to be. And then the prayer will be fulfilled. Or he'll just redirect the whole universe in order to get everybody in that direction. That way that I had started off on That's how God works. And that's how big and powerful God is. This thing proceedeth from the Lord. I want everybody to be able to say that. And we need more of that in our Christian life. Day by day, moment by moment, spirit-led Christianity. That's what's going to affect this world in a very real way. No more, I believe, is the routine going to be what gets people strong. It's going to have to be not like the, not, what I mean is like the routine, like, you know, Sunday night, 
you know, Sunday morning, Wednesday night, prayer meeting, that kind of that kind of religious routine and rigmarole. No, I think in the future, it's going to be a daily routine, a moment routine of watching after God, following after God, seeking God, desiring Him to be in your every moment, desiring Him to lead you in your every whim, and controlling you and really strengthening you and emboldening you to do the work that He has. And these from this servant are just a few things that we can follow after yet as a pattern in our lives to be able to do great and wonderful things be in the way christ is the way and let christ lead you that's all that we need for the future that's what that that's the oldest tale in the book right this is not some new thing that i'm bringing up this is the basics let's get back to the basics genesis 24 shows us how to be in the way and have god lead you in that same way and in that same path and i'm thank you for it Thank you, God, for this day.